Okay guys, we are here in the noisy Chinatown. The oldest Chinatown in the world. Established in 1594. And over here we have the new Binondo Chinatown arch. Like the entrance into Chinatown when you come over from the bridge over there. And uh, over there we have the other arch, which is the arch of the Filipino and Chinese friendship. It's uh, the one over there. So yeah, let's explore this oldest Chinatown in the world. Let's go guys. Look at the beautiful arch here and all the traffic going into the center of Chinatown. I have to talk loud here, otherwise you won't understand me. It's uh, what happened here in this building? It seems like it burned down or something like that. Yeah. So let's go into Chinatown. Here we have the other arch. The arch of the Filipino and Chinese friendship. So I heard over here uh, there's a lot of street food to try. Maybe we will do that. Or maybe we will try some dim sum. Since we are in Chinatown, I would love to try that as well. Uh, yeah, look at this street lights. Beautifully decorated with the golden dragon. Nice, right? And a lot of shops along the way here. I think you can find everything here in Chinatown. So let's see what we can do here. And everywhere in this area you can see guards with even shotguns. Yeah. And uh, look at the wiring. What a mess. <laughs> How can they know which wire is uh, having a, a fault? Look at this. So we're here inside the Binondo church now. It's a stunning church. Look at this. Beautiful. It was founded by Dominican priests in 1596 to serve the Chinese Christian converts and uh, native Filipino Christians. Wow, it's so beautiful here. Look at the ceiling with the frescoes. So nice. It's actually not the original church because over the centuries this church was devastated by earthquake wars but still it's magnificent how they rebuild it. Whew, amazing! The original church is from 1852 but uh, during the Second World War it got uh, heavily damaged again, got restored those restoration works were finished in 1984 so this is the current building here now so guys back in the chaos of the noisy Chinatown and uh, now let's go to Carvajal Street it's a small alley actually where they sell a lot of vegetables, fruits, uh, seafood, uh, produce to make Chinese dishes. I think Carvajal Street is somewhere over there. So let's see if we can find this alley over here. It's very small so we can easily pass it. 
so it's here we found it yeah. Carval Street the small alley over here it used to be called Ho Shua Hang I think which means umbrella alley because before the main product they sold here in the streets were actually umbrellas and uh, now it's a lot of types of fruit vegetables so let's take a look here Egg. Ah, salted egg. Or they call for it for a second, I thought it was balut. Or they balut. Call it red egg. It uh, yeah, some, even some fishes, dry yeah. fish. Mm, nice fruits they have nice here. Stuff. Selling some drinks here. Hola. Hola. Some fish. Sausages. A lot of uh, street food here as well. Like you can see, what do they sell here? Some squid. This place looks quite popular. Seems tasty, but uh, I think I will go for some dim sum since I'm here in Chinatown. It's fried banana? Yeah, they call it banana fruit. Oh, I will come back later. I want to try some uh, fried banana. So some pineapple shake, dim sum with pork, dim sum with shrimp. And uh, a four season shape. I think that yours will be really good. Mm, the shrimp one is really good. Oh, so lovely. But how you actually start with this one? <laughs> so nice. You can really taste the shrimps. Real good dim sum here at Ying Ying Tea House. How is it? <laughs> but the thing I enjoy the most now in this hot weather is for sure this pineapple shake. Mm. <sighs> bye bye Ying Ying Tea House. Time for my fried banana. <laughs> Do you guys like a fried banana? Because I do. I love a fried banana. They call it banana few. What? Banana few. Oh. I call it fried banana. You need to be careful. Crazy drivers here in Chinatown. The fried bananas. Oh, he dropped the coin there. <laughs> Hello. Can I have a fried banana? Thank you so much. Yummy. So I hope this one will be delicious. Let's try it. My fried banana. Mmm, actually really good. Mmm. It's really good. Thank you. Mm, nice fried banana. So I think what we will do now is walk in the main street of Chinatown. Explore a little bit of the shops there. And then I think we saw most of it actually. 
but first I'm gonna enjoy my fried banana mmm delicious so right over here we have Hongpen Street it's actually like the main street of Chinatown I think here you can find a lot of shops selling a lot of goods like over here we have shoppers Look at the shop, lucky charms, gift items, really beautiful Chinese lamps. You really got to love Chinatown, you know, with all those different type of shops selling these uh, touristic items like this here. Or over there, these beautiful Chinese lamps, a nice gift when going back to your country, I think. Yeah. Even here, beautiful, right? The Japanese cat they have as well. You can see it here. The Maneki Neku, I think it's actually a name, or Maneki Neku. It's actually, yeah, it has many names. The Happy Cat, the Lucky Cat, the Fortune Cat, you name it. It. Uh, History actually goes back till the 17th century, I think. And it's believed the owner of such a cat, it will bring uh, good luck and fortune to the owner. So maybe I should buy a cat like that. Do you want a cat like that? <laughs> I'm your cat. Yeah, you're my maneki neku. <laughs> yeah, this one. A little bit of garlic, bananas. Onion. Yeah, you can find a lot here in Chinatown. I always say if you can't find it in Chinatown, you can't find it nowhere. <laughs> oh, look at this. I really need some refreshing drink. Maybe they have Chinese Coke Zero. Oh, they have the Chinese brand as well, but uh, no Zero. I think I will try a Chinese Fanta, or like they call it here, Royal. I think it's nice. Let's take one here. Fanta. <laughs> like I told you, not Royal. And uh, I will take a Coke Zero for me. Haha. Let's see if you taste the difference between Royal and Fanta. This is a Fanta. This is Fanta, yes. The same we have in Europe. Ah. Not easy to vlog with one hand. Well, Chinese candies. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm the corn lady. Yeah, you're the corn lady. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. So guys, I think this is a good time to say goodbye. I hope you like this short walk around Chinatown. If you're here in Manila for sure, come here as well because it's a really nice place. A little bit hectic, but I love to walk around in Chinatown. Every time I visit the city, London, go to Chinatown. Even in Belgium and Antwerp, I often go to Chinatown. I love the atmosphere. So guys, I see you again in another video. Take care. Cheers.